you ever wondered what it's like to be a part of a huge gaming culture? Hi, I'm Sol Ramos, and welcome to Behind the Cards. I'm going to tell you about this new, sensational card game that's sweeping the nation. All the boys and girls in the new millennia are playing it. It's called Yu-Gi-Oh! We're going to be looking at the ins and outs of this new culture and try and figure out just what makes it so popular. Join me as we digress into the world of Duel Monsters and see how people live and follow in this subculture of suburban geeks. Let's go ahead and start our adventure by diving into the simple question. What is Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's go! Yu-Gi-Oh! is a manga and anime show created by Tezuki Takahashi. It started in 1996, followed by the anime in 1997. The show is about a boy named Yugi Muto, who acquired an ancient Egyptian artifact known as the Millennium Puzzle that contained the spirit of a pharaoh. He and the Pharaoh have to duel foes in the game of Duel Monsters to save the fate of his friends and the world. Duel Monsters is the name of the game played in the show, but the trading card game is just called Yu-Gi-Oh! The game came out in 1998, published and released by Konami. It hit huge with the kids watching this show. Just listen to this guy! Yo dog, this game is the bomb! Check it out, I got this deck. It has these rad monsters I can use in battle. Look, here's a bull eyes or dragon. You put it in the field and you destroy your opponent. Booyah! Yu-Gi-Oh! has developed this subculture of people playing the card game as the means of life. Like in the show, some people play the game to settle a conflict or a bet, while others just play it for fun. These people even hold tournaments to compete with one another. To win, all it takes is the luck of your deck to be on your side. The game's rules may seem like they're somewhat complicated, but if you know the basics, the rest is basically straightforward. The rules are pretty simple. Let's check out this tournament to see how the game is played. We'll get to see the professionals at the top of their game explaining to us their enthusiasm for Yu-Gi-Oh! The rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! are simple. From your deck, grab 5 cards from the top. You can place any 1-4 to four star monsters in field in attack or defense position for that purpose. You can place spell or trap cards face down in field, and then you flip them over to use them when you want to. You can only summon one monster per turn. To summon a monster with 7 star or more, you need to sacrifice 2 monsters already played in field to the graveyard. Any card that is used up or destroyed goes straight to the graveyard. And remember, always read the description of your card to know what it does and how to use it. Let's hear what this sweet dude's got to say. Alright, check it. This game is hella brutal. I play this game every day, homie. I got myself like 20 beans from a wager. Huh, totally jacked those guys up. This game sets you up for life, man. Get yourself a deck and let the heart of the cards victory. Alrighty then, let's head back to the tournament to see how this all goes down. From my hand, I summon Lord of Deep. Deactivate any trap card that targets dragons on my field. Well, 
From my hand, I summon Fighter Lele. He has 2300 attack points, and I attack your Dark Fire, sending him straight to the graveyard. With Lord of E on the field, I activate Dragon Summoning Blue, which allows me to summon two Dragon cards. I end my turn. Well, I sacrifice my legendary swordsman and my fighter Lele to summon Dark Magician with his 2500 attack points and I destroy your left dragon and end my turn. <laughs> oh my one. War Shindale. Nani? I activate Dark Hole, destroying all your cards on the field. I use my blue eyes white dragon to attack you, draining all your life points. No! Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game that is loved by many who play it by heart, whether it be for competition or for leisure. Surely enough, those kids who grew up watching this anime will surely be influenced to be a part of this culture. This game overall gets people together in an interactive strategy puzzle game. Anyone who loves puzzles, strategy, anime, and fantasy will surely be able to join this culture. From dragons and pharaohs, this game might seem old school, but it's hella wicked. Any one of you can play. Just grab a deck and let the heart of the cards lead you to victory.